Good morning. Today I wanted to invite you to come and take a tour of our apartment. So here is our space. I am so excited you're here. This is a converted warehouse. I'm pretty sure it's been converted for at least 20 years. Um, I'm not exactly sure how old the building is itself. So when you walk in the door, we have a space to sit and our shoe area. I've always lived in a no shoes household because walking around the house with shoes on from outside always sounded kind of gross. And we also grew up in Asia and it's kind of something we've always done. I keep the yoga stuff over here. That's where I do my contortion and flexibility training. And to the left is our big, massive, double garage door. So these things actually do open up. Anson built us this beautiful wood floor and stained it. And that covers up the ramp. You can normally drive in a vehicle in here. Because of the way we've designed it, you cannot open the right hand door because the platform gets in the way. I love this couch. We bought this couch in Japan and we've had it ever since. So on our shelf, I have a little bit of art and all of my art books as well as a few fiction books. I've not really been able to keep a lot of books in my life even though I really love them because we do so much travel and books are one of the heaviest things to travel with and move around. Some wedding photos. This is where Gil lives now. I don't keep a lot of things that are like trinkets and whatnot. These are particularly special to me because I actually found these in Indonesia. They're in a riverbed. There's hundreds of them. All you had to do was break open any of these rocks and you could find something inside. Every artist needs a sword as a reference, right? Like we have good excuses for these things, I feel like. <laughs> I should count how many weapons I have just laying around four maybe. Anyways, over here I have our new, newly acquired dresser. I haven't decided what I want to put inside yet. Here's our dining room table that I use quite often for pretty much anything but actually dining. Another print by Donato. When you first walk in, I keep a lot of our travel books here. Here is Anson's desk, and then my desk. I've got my two monitors, as well as my Cintiq. Uh, I do a lot of video editing. I do that all over here and also my digital painting is done on the Cintiq. I actually do a lot of video editing on the Cintiq as well just because I enjoy using a pen and also has a, just a really nice screen uh, rather than using my regular monitors. So we actually don't have any closets in this apartment. There are zero closets in this apartment and that's made for some really interesting storage solutions that are very alternative and this one I'm pretty pretty pleased with. Our tatami area with our TV. Anson and his brother raised it up on a platform and underneath I am able to keep a lot of my frame storage, shipping storage, miscellaneous supplies, stuff like that. One of the things that I brought back from Japan were these couches that we had there in our tatami room and I just, I loved the way they feel. I like, I like sitting on the floor. It's really traditional to at least have one of those types of rooms in a Japanese home. Uh, tatami is uh, like a reed mat and the whole floor is covered in these reed mats and yeah, it's just a really neat experience. Anyways, this is just a nice place to relax and uh, maybe watch some TV or read. So when you leave the tatami area, and this is where I have my art supply dresser and my traditional media working table. Here I keep all of my sketchbooks, 
I like to keep a lot of my supplies put away and only keep out the stuff that I'm using regularly, but I keep pretty lean supplies as well. So this kind of weird setup is what I use to film with. Right here I have, I have a yoga block that I'm using this mount that's attached. Normally this would go on the side of the table, but my table is much larger than it used to be. So I can now move this around and it connects to my GoPro. The wire that's attached to it is actually plugged into the wall so that I can record for a very, very long time and never have to change the battery. So right now this is just balanced against my lamp. My desk lighting situation I am planning on changing in the next couple of weeks. But during the day I have this beautiful overhead light from the skylights that are above us. So there's three total in this main room and they are amazing at providing full light all day long. So I picked this chest up at the Alameda Antique Fair and it has been incredible at being, allowing me to keep all of my supplies right here next to my desk and just allow for easy access. So in my first drawer, I keep a lot of necessities. I have my postcards that I send out with all of my original paintings and stuff that I'm mailing out, business cards, miscellaneous papers, tape, uh, record keeping, all that fun stuff. Also, I keep my pencil cases when I'm ready to go and grab something. I can just run out to the coffee shop really quick. Next drawer is... Next drawer I have work in progress paintings as well as papers that are kind of loose that need to be corralled into a thing. Um, I keep a lot of these in my cute Japanese folders. This is also where I keep a lot of my travel supplies for art. Um, just the containers that I travel with them in, brush holders, water brushes, my little mini watercolor tin, little travel sets, and then I also have um, just miscellaneous pens for signing stuff, and then I have excess pencils and pens in these two, so pens I'm not using right now and pencils that I'm not using right now. The space maker is perfect uh, for taking two life drawing classes. That's what I was using it for a while. Uh, next we have, this is where I keep all of my paper, arches paper, different um, pads of paper in here, more paper, dot sheets, more blocks of watercolor paper, just kind of all, all the watercolor paper. This drawer I don't get into a whole lot. This one has sort of the art supplies that are not being used right now. Just miscellaneous containers. Uh, this is my fixatives and some ink, miscellaneous stuff like that. Um, I have a little spot over here that I've got some extra sketchbooks that I use fairly regularly. Uh, they just fit really nicely in this. Next is kind of the watercolor drawer, I suppose you could call it. Um, this is more items that I don't really use a whole lot. Like my Japanese watercolors are in here. Wash is in here. Keep my fine tech paints in here. These are amazing. I just don't use them very often. And last but not least, the miscellaneous surface drawer, I guess. So above the computer area is our bedroom. And you get to it via the back here. So this is our bathroom that I try to keep shut, but I always forget to. It has a nice little window. Kitchen, another skylight. Bedroom, another skylight. We're in the minimal wardrobe route. Bedroom, another skylight. If you have any questions about today's tour, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I did not address the pole in the room. I forgot. I